Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. Got a beautiful day going on here. Look at this blue sky. Gotta love that. I'm back on some golf carts. Um, getting the uh, G5 without the engine in it. Um, my buddy Redding there is, what is it, 2114 Redding? He is doing a custom gig on this, so he doesn't need the rear end out of it. Um, I worked on this one today, and basically you can see I just did a cut. What I do with the rest of it, wherever it's hiding. Um, so I was prepared to do that with this one though I really did not want to because um, that limits his options. Um, but it turns out to remove the rear end from this thing is really a piece of cake. Even removing the whole engine from this thing is really a piece of cake. First of all, this is um, a G5. You can see the G5 there. And then three one, you basically add one number to the that three, which gives you a four. Uh, four. So this is a 1994 G5. Um, you guys could see the engine is already out of it. It does have some rot here, um, but that's really not a big deal. To get the engine and tranny out of this thing, really a piece of cake. If you have a backhoe loader, you just kind of pick it up, chain it up, pick it up. You take off the shocks, which is just this bolt here, right, and it goes right through here. And when you do that, the whole rear end drops right down. Look how easy this is. Drops right down. And then you undo four bolts, and in my case, all four of these bolts came out easily. There's a bolt through the front here. Uh, you take the belt off, the um, cables, right, all this stuff, and uh, the rear end pops right out. Piece of cake. Um, to get the engine off, you have one, I think you guys could see it right, one, two, um, three, that bolt up there, and then that bolt there. So just four bolts. And the engine comes right out. If you want to take the whole thing out as an assembly, once again, you undo the shocks. And then you, uh, if it's rusty, you can cut it across here. If it's, um, if you want to save it, right? If you want to keep it alive, you undo this bolt, tap it out, right? So it's really, really a piece of cake. These things are um, fairly easy to work on. You could picture it at a golf course. If uh, somebody had to maintain these, you know, somebody crashed it or for whatever reason the front end got trashed. Heck, you undo two bolts and some cables and you take the whole drive chain out in one, one easy, easy piece, right? piece of cake. So I just wanted to show you guys that. It's actually um, kind of clever. Now what I'm gonna do, obviously I don't have to mess with the cradle so I'm gonna leave that in there just as it is. The cables are rusty so I'm probably just gonna cut them. I am gonna leave the shocks behind. That gives him the ability to make a decision what to do with them. Um, Anybody considering a conversion? Let me show you the frame on this thing, just just so you have an idea what you're up to. Oh God, it sucks getting old. This is what the frame looks like from the front, right? You come to here, and once again, he's got some repairs to do. And then it, it's bent, comes around out back. So all one needs to do is get a set of rails attached there 
you come straight back right right across here um, you hook right back up to there and you make a decision once again whether you want the rear end and a cradle in it that's moving or not moving um, probably I have a tendency to do a lot of this stuff when I'm working on it I, I tend to like to do all of it at once so probably what I'm gonna do is after I get this rear end out I'm gonna go get the one with the really rusty frame I'm gonna drag it over here and I think I'm gonna pull the engine and rear end out of it uh, once the engine and rear end are out of it I'm probably then I'm gonna see if I can't get it started by the way this rear end is in better shape than the one that's currently sitting under the mule so I think I think uh, I think I'm gonna end up bagging that but literally two bolts um, you drop or you do undo the two shock bolts and these these two bolts and the and the rear end drive chain could come out of uh, of this G5 it's that that simple uh, history on this thing I believe this golf cart was from the um, uh, a golf course at um, Palisades Palisades State Golf Course you can see it was a uh, part of an auction and um, a friend of a friend bought this whole batch of golf carts. I don't know how many golf carts was in the batch. He, he deals in a lot of this stuff. And he took the best. And then he sold it to my buddy Charlie. Who then started putting golf carts together out of the mess. And uh, um, after he put together whatever he could put together. Basically, I ended up with all the one ofs. Um, the non-running club car has some kind of electrical problem. He couldn't get it started, so I ended up with that. I ended up with these Yamahas that did not have engines in them. Um, I ended up with the two EasyGo electrics because they needed batteries. And around me, if you put $500 worth of batteries into a golf cart, and if unless it's really, really pretty, you got like a $800 golf cart and uh, and once again you gotta hope it works so maybe not even 800 more maybe more like 650s so then you gotta hope it works so you made a, a very big investment and you might not get any return out of it so um, that's kinda how I ended up with the batch of stuff I did this mule also is from an auction it came from the Dutchess County auction all right, folks, I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your head up, and please, please get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now, folks.